Um, I mean, we can, I guess, make it, and then we'll, we'll introduce the show in a second, but is it on? No, dude. No, I'm not even fucking lying, dude. I, I saw her. I saw her at the discotheque. You sound really defensive for something that never happened. My like, voice goes so, up. He's hard. It's like a, sounds like a drunk mouse. Yo, I'm over here. I go see her. I'm like, I see her from around the, around the way, right? As 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 men do. I'm an observer. I'm a comedian. I'm observing the. Place. You have eyes. I see Cassidy Joe, right? Fresh off the television. Okay, Gatsby. I walk up to this young lady. Because I've met her a few times. Yeah. Right? Like once. Oh, yeah. So you thought. <laughs> so you thought. <laughs> you think you make an impression on somebody. Literally one time. Yeah, I tell people several. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's not the story I tell. It's like, yeah. She's on my shit all the time. No, so I'm like, oh my God, I get to say what's up to her. You know, sometimes you only see people on, on uh, YouTube or uh, on Instagram. So I go say what's up. And she couldn't hear me. She's like, what? She's all drunk. Huh? 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 What? Cow? What? You okay, know? Do an, do an actual impression of right. what actually went. All right, all right. I, I, I'll swear to you. Come say hi to that me. That means a lot. Come say hi to me. <laughs> she she said, said, man's dude. promise. She's like, I hate people from Scottsdale. It's like episode one. Okay. All right, so you go ahead. And I'm like, Eric, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Like every drunk Let, let's white go, girl let's in a bar. Ahead, let's go ahead and, and you know I'm right. Let, let's go ahead and make sure that the record shows that never happened either. Yo. She was like, like pretending she didn't know who I was. Huh? Is that? Huh? You know, like, huh? And I was like, hey, what's up, baby? You know? You're so dramatic. I hit, I hit her with the baby. And she was like, what? You want a picture? Or, dude. That's so funny. Shit, do, do you, you want, want a picture? And I immediately got upset. I said, do you want a picture? Maybe I just wanted to take a photo with you. No. What if I was like, let's get a it picture? Because like the last a- time I had saw you, you were like doing the, you know, you were emceeing the little charity event. It was real cute. The was, little charity event. It was. It was like, it was Yeah, cute. we were volunteering our time. Yeah, it was. I was like, yeah. like By the way, this is the Eric Brown. And why the AZ is SVO. Jokes aside, the realest when you hear it coming from the Eric Bernard show with Scottsdale. Very young. Get your phone in. Hear a call. We going up. Now let them know. So SVO. I met you at this little charity event. Look, I was volunteering my time. I didn't know who I'd meet. I thought it was just going to meet poor kids. <laughs> Luckily, I met it's a charitable organization. This, this, this blue eye. It wasn't a tough part is of it town. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it is. It is. A, it was a tough part of town, dude. Yeah, really? was it? It was. Yeah. So we did this for Christmas because yep. Christ is the Lord That's and our Savior, and <laughs> and and Jesus is American. So and also a Republican, but usually when the charity is it. <laughs> So, no, we're there, and I'm MC. I'm like, hey, what's up, guys? Whatever, whatever. Then I was speaking in a little Espanol, you know? <laughs> you and I was speaking in Espanol. And then there, I remember there was the highlight, I, before I forget, there was, there was, like, these people that were just, like, giving out snakes to kids, like, to hold and shit, oh. and tarantulas. Oh, were, yes, they really were. It was kind of, yeah, it was and like a petting zoo, but, like, a scary one. And uh, this kid was freaked out. He was yeah. freaked out about the tarantula. I was like, come on, man, just pet it. Would he goes, too. put it on your head, and I'll do it. <laughs> kids and i was fucking terrified of this shit and i was like um yeah go, go do it dude i felt this fucking animal from satan himself. a lot of religious stuff going on in this episode no but she, he, <laughs> they put the the, the spider on me or a tarantula whatever it is and then he pet he goes <laughs> but the things i do for the kids especially the poor ones i was once one the guy can kind of look like me but and then i saw this 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 beautiful i couldn't even believe that this this specimen was in front of me. I just saw this woman. I, like, first of all, her eyes were radiating, so I couldn't tell if she had a nose or mouth. To be honest with you, right? <laughs> and then the cloud went over the sun. I was able to see her, and it was Cassidy Joe. What a great intro! You're sweet. There we go. Sweet. Arizona. Welcome to Az. The pod. Yeah, welcome to the pod. No, Thanks. Cassidy Joe, uh, Miss Arizona. She had a what's that thing called? What's that thing? A sash. A sash. A sash. Yeah. Sash. Sash. How do you say that as a country person? It was a sayish, right? Sayish. I'm trying to get my country. Um, I'm trying to get that accent? impersonation down. Yeah. You know, accent. No, because I'm not from. It's the, a but, little exaggerated, but it's okay. I'll tell you what. I don't know. It's all bad. All my. It's actually pretty good though. All right. Well, I was raised by cows. Um. So no. So I saw. Seems I right. saw. I saw Cassidy. Yeah. 
Because I'll be milking. I don't know what that meant. Uh, we can cut that part out or just bleep it. No, I'll actually let it go. Fuck it. Fuck the algorithm. Um, what are you milking? Hey, yo. Cass, it's been rough since I've seen you last time in Scottsdale, okay? So, like, I'll never forget what you did to me. No. Um, Want a photo? Uh, honestly, though? I guess. You know what we should do? We should take a photo right now. Salty. So I can tell all my friends this is the fifth time we hung out. <laughs> like like third maybe yeah okay look at us there you go looking like him she sponsored me to come across anyways um no so i see her there she's gorgeous she's there she's there with some other uh women who had won my teen yeah okay her team the younger Intr- version Yep. The, the younger Miss I'm just teen? educating. Is it Miss Teen? Was it? Was yeah, she was Arizona Teen. Yep. Arizona Teen. teen. But then I there was, was like Miss, the Miss like Miss Apache Junction. I don't know. There was like a bunch of these. Oh, yeah. Like, like good job. Right? Good memory. Chandler. And, yeah, oh, these. so like all this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah the girls that like were all. That had They're also like, competed. we're here to help the poor kids, including the MC. So we were there. And we're handing out toys. We're doing we're doing games. There was one kid that kept re-entering the game to fucking win shit. And <laughs> over and ta- over. And we had to be like, hey, dude, you can't. Plus, you're 30. Like, you can't keep, like, being <laughs> in this game. He's not 30 years old. <laughs> 13, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Flip it around. You would have been tri- tried as an adult. But here's <laughs> here, the thing. You, you would literally just go and be like, you got to go. Like, yeah, you, I got, was like, you were <laughs> savage about it. He, like, bounced him dude, out. Dude, you know how I am. How I am. What, what literally, I, like, you're tapped out, man. Hey, you hey, got. Friend. Hey. <laughs> And I, and I would get off the microphone and be like, hey, it's okay. <laughs> gotta, hey, I don't have you parents really either. Just go. Yeah. Dude, and this toy drive, um, shout out to Mike Fazio. Fazio, Mr. Fazio had passed away, not to put a downer, but he had passed away uh, in September of last year. He's the one that ran. I did it two years in a row. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, he died in a motorcycle accident, leaving two dollars behind. I don't know. I just I never really dealt with that personally. But it's how I met you. And uh shout out to him. You never personally dealt dealt with death. I yeah, I'm glad yeah. you haven't. No, I'm, I'm glad you're here. And that's what and we're back. We yeah, and, and that's we're it. back. <laughs> so so I met this girl. And here's the thing, you know, I'm there alone. I have really nobody to talk to. So I'm like, you're there. Like, let's talk. And she's like, What does this kid want? I can't Not really true. see her face. It was very and you know I'm so friendly. I'm like, hey. Yeah, she was paid and bought for. For the event, so we had to. <laughs> Do I have to put poop on your hand? Anyways, no, 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 no. no Honestly, no. She was oh. very sweet, very nice. I mean, thank you. I mean, uh, now the truth is coming out, right? Perception <laughs> and reality are two different things. Yeah, for I'm sure. Because like she, him in the she, side. she, she's, you know, I mean, we can go back to the whole Scottsdale situation. Do you want a picture? <laughs> That's oh, where it man. stemmed from. I said I want to take a photo with you. And honestly, I'm not Oh, sure. now I'm you like, remember <laughs> about a photo, right? Before I never even said that. To be honest, I don't Yo, even remember this looked, moment. It, okay, there you go. That's more honest. Because you had the she drunk. Was like, she was so drunk, dude. I don't dude, even remember this. I quickly just I melted away. I melted away. She went to the DJ booth and I was like, you know what? He's my friend too, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we make took it. a shot together. You bought me a shot. Yeah, it's the least I could do. That's what I'm saying. Well. <laughs> Better than a picture. So, no, so we met there. It was cool. Since then, we've been Instagram homies. Yeah, aka you slide in my DMs. What the hell? Did, what have <laughs> I said to you? I'm sorry I hit you with a fire emoji. I also hit him with one when he said something funny. No, sure. I did slide in. I was like, yo, shorty, um, <laughs> what is it that, you know? What I do. What I do, yeah. But he's also said that to me. She's also hit me up, too, though. Well... The story he unfolds. hits you with the fire, fire. No, 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 no. She's hit me up too in the DMs. See, there you go. Again, maybe just being friendly. <laughs> oh no, you have it. Oh, no. Don't tell me you deleted it. All right. I'm wearing my glasses. No, I'm just kidding. I don't wear glasses. But I'm, I'm, you're pro- I really have. Because uh, I'm not worried about that. If I know you, I know you, and I'm yeah. gonna be like, yo, that's. Only know we've only met once. A dope. Yeah, you scroll. <laughs> Duh. Oh, I double DM'd you once. I'm a pretty wow. dope girl. Hey, hon, totally. Okay, for her. Oh, no, that's you. You're oh, the purple. You hit me at Oh, a, my gosh. I you thought, hit me at 11.52 we p.m. No, you double DM me. You hit me at 11.52 p.m. February 4th. <laughs> 11 <laughs> the record show. It's eight minutes to midnight, all right? Oh, 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 only certain things the happening. Who's drinking? She goes, you out tonight? Not Yo, you I didn't. Out tonight. Okay. I saw it. You must have posted a story I where I'm like, you no, nothing, tonight. nothing. That's not true. Nothing. The the thing before was like, because I was trying to invite you out. All right, hold on, we're getting a little too much. 
<laughs> you're missing. Look, you go, you out tonight. That has nothing to do with anything else. You put you out, you out tonight. I said, no, no, take no, no, my no. Head. Saw you were out, and I'm like, of course. I left you on red for you sending me a night that you were doing stand up, I'm pretty sure. Yes. No, but and you then asked that's me. When I was like, Are you give me tonight? the no, no. I, you didn't leave me. All right, give me the info. I may be hunting. I may go hunting. This come weekend. to one of my shows this weekend. Is what you said. Yeah, yeah and I did. I show. didn't go hunting. I did. I I'm did go hunting. I'm such a bro. Lol. So I am. That's what you said. I'm such a bro. I was agreeing with you, dude. I never said you're a bro there. Oh, I know. You, you know what? Let the record show. She also asked what I was doing at midnight. I did. I did say Are you no, out no, tonight. No, no, it was after cool. I went hunting and didn't make it to your show. See, like it's a it's a give and take. So you guys have normal conversations. Uh, yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> so yeah, I do get left on red plenty though. Normal Instagram conversations. We're reeling it back in. She we took a shot. She literally looked at it and be like, "Okay, he's asking me to go to a show. Again. Was he funny? Whatever." No, but uh, so back to uh, giving poor kids to to presents. Thing. I would love for you to go. I've only invited you a hundred times, and it only took you twice to come to this podcast. So, but here's the thing: we we met there. We're, gi- we're giving out toys to, to the poor, right? And um. <laughs> Were we not? Were they rich kids? Just to the need, like to the, the needy. They, you know. <laughs> what do you think poor is? <laughs> the houseless. <laughs> we're at. First of all, we're at poverty level, okay? No, it was a, it was a rough name, but those kids were it super was. sweet, super yeah, beautiful. Only truly. only some of them, you know, some kids um, won bicycle. Like they were not cheap gifts. I yeah, think they the, were really I good think gifts. The minimum, I wanted to win. I think the minimum gift price was like twenty or twenty five bucks, oh, wow. which is. That's nice. That's huge. Because like people kids. that usually donate gifts, like five dollar gift, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Did you bring some like toys and stuff to contribute? Because I did. Uh, I don't I remember helped. what I brought. I was I was running a open mic at the time, and we had a a basket, and people came in. Oh, and I they love got, that. They had discounts on their. So you didn't and stuff. contribute yourself, okay? I only ran a fucking toy drive, but yeah. You didn't <laughs> you run know, it. I ran it. No, sometimes you know. I was running it. To a woman, you know. <laughs> let's, let's. You know what? Andrew Tate's in the building. Um. So. <laughs> Okay. No, so uh, <laughs> yo, the okay. Sometimes that you, do, was sometimes you gotta say okay. something to see where the temperature check is at. <laughs> Temperatures rising. Um, no, so we met, and then never <laughs> spoke again. We've literally only asked each other what we're doing, yeah. how we're doing. Hey, congrats on the like what, the pose. Congrats yeah. on the show. You look hot here. I don't think I've ever wrote anything like that. It's not my style to be like, yo, you're so fucking beautiful, hot, nice butt, boobs, face, ears. You shouldn't be that way. I'm just not like that in general. I would not be here if you were. That's weird. But you know what's so crazy is that Alan was not like that with you in the beginning of the show. <laughs> or ever. You started Alan. making it feel like it was a friendship, from what I understand. I mean, and let's talk I about- asked for a kiss and got denied, so yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I also asked for a picture. But Tell anyways. me when that happens on dating TV shows. What I think that I might be the no. only one in the history. That is true. You know, I right. right so right. Huh, I, some of you probably I don't really know thought this. about that. Some Dude of you probably don't know this. It. Uh, Cass- Cassidy <laughs> Joe was on a show. What's the formal name of the show? Farmer Wants a Wife. Farmer Wants a Wife, which is streaming where? On Hulu. Well, they just had their last. The last. The finale was last night. Didn't see it. Yeah, but so it's it'll be on Hulu forever. Hulu forever. Dot com. No, R. on Hulu. R.I.P. Yeah, R. I. P. yeah we'll, it's on Hulu. We should watch the finale. Farmer Wants a Wife. Or Just ju- make sure you look up the U.S. version because there's like 12 seasons of Aus- the Australian version on there. Was that Australian first? It's like, yeah, it's like yeah. kangaroo. And They've shit. had it in like 120 other countries. No, Not even joking. Well, that, it's well, so, that's how the so X wild. Factor works. That's right. how American Idol works. Right. All those things. Like Simon Cowell is rich forever yeah. because he's he has like that licensed all over the world. It's like a franchise. The Voice, the voice right, is right. all over, you know. True. So yeah, so they decided to do it here. They just renewed it for season two. They just confirmed. Nice. And I'm drinking Monster Energy drink because that's the drink of the country boys. I usually drink Red Bull. I like the white and blue one. That's sugar free. It's you so good. Like that one's actually really one. good. Yeah, it's so good. It's you like know the only one I drink. Drinks I keep now? it in my fridge. Oh, they do make alcoholic drinks though that are, have no energy in them. Are they good? But they just taste. They, taste like exactly. they should have energy in them though, because that's that's a wild time. T- well, you can always <laughs> add it. Hey. I think that's why Four Locos got banned. <laughs> Pretty Did sure. it get banned? At one point, it had energy. And then in they it. had to they had to lessen the whatever. Anyways, back to this fucking show that you're on, okay? <laughs> I'm on. Yes, God Farmer Wants a Wife. She's on fucking Farmer Wants a Wife. All okay, right. that's intense. Uh, yeah, I'm an intense guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so I was I was I was watching a few eps, and you're after all this like shit talking between each other, you're actually very sweet Thank in the you. show. Like, thanks. You're very it it. I almost I feel for you. On, because once when I Thank you. know you, even though you may debate that, um, but we do. 
yeah, you know, like there was times I was like, what the fuck is up with this dude? I mean, then again, I'm not the dude. You know what I mean? Because how many times has a girl had like this really cool dude and she's like, I don't know, he just doesn't do it for me. You know what I mean? And I always thought like, yeah, he's not wrong for Often. feeling how he feels. You know what I mean? And, sure. And uh, and then that that one part when you were like, this is, uh, I think the quote was, this is starting to feel more like a friendship. Yeah. And that was the most guy thing I ever heard on reality television from a woman. Like, she's trying here, and she's sincerely, like, interested. Yeah. And it's, very. like, that duality of, like, oh, shit, like, this is, like, the, for the majority of what men do, right? Because men pursue way more than women, right? That's why these shows are, yeah. like, kind of, like, interesting because you never see a woman pursue. Bachelorette. Uh, that's what I'm saying. But like, still, I'm talking like, about the in guys real life. Her. No, in you're right. Life. No, you're right. In real life. In real True. life, do you go, like, hey, True. dude, like, you're fucking hot. Right, like, but you I, wanna, like, shoot or chill? shoot, I shot my shot. <laughs> and, yes, I do. I do. I'm very, like, vocal, like, you know. But that's another thing. Remember I was telling you earlier, yeah. I was like, she's... Right. Like, like, when you, like, like, earlier, you were looking at me, and I, if you notice, I go like this sometimes. Because, like, sometimes, like, you're, you have, like, um, what is it? You make you make people uncomfortable. You get that a lot. <laughs> no, you get that a lot. Actually, listen to this. There's. I was talking to this guy this week, and I actually really liked him. Bing and bong. he's yep. out. You want to know why? Like I'm, I'm why? too intimidating. Oh, I know. I'm too. Although then you don't want that. But, I said, so, but you just said like I have an yeah, intimidating you're, presence. You're very so that forward. just like. Sp- after hanging struck out. this chord with me, where I'm like a little hurt right now because I'm like, what that? Well, we hadn't hung well, out. We hadn't even hung out yet. It was just via... Actually, he's freaked out about the show stuff. And I'm like, dude, Why? I'm a nobody. Yeah. I am literally like the most chill down to earth. And he's like, I just feel like I can't... You just have like your high class with the pageants. I'm like, high class. I've never been to Disney high World. Cl- dude, but <laughs> I've never been to Disney World. <laughs> Why was that the gauge of... <laughs> <laughs> because I'm from the South and I feel like everyone I knew growing up had been so to Disney like World with their family. Dude, In the I- South, yeah. Because you're not far from it. Oh, so yeah. originally from... So Alabama, oh, Alabama. But, originally from Alabama. Well, let's talk about the dude. So, yeah, yeah. So anyway, this, so, so, even, so like, like hung out with him at all? No, but we had great conversation. The dude, maybe a day and a half before, had said, "Honestly, I'm just really excited for you to fall." <laughs> I don't even know if I can say it. Oh my God! Please say it. You're the love bomber. Clip this. You ready? Yeah. In a text, been texting it for a day. Honestly, I can't wait for you to fall in love with me and for me to fall in love with you. All right. Whoa. But listen. (laughs) Yo. That was gay as hell. Um, Dude. But uh, I surprisingly wasn't geeked out. Did he think it was going to be on Hulu? I really liked our conversation. I really liked our conversation. I really enjoyed talking to him. Here's the thing. People, you know what it is with guys? We talked on the phone one time, and then he was out. Well, he's uh, He's like, I just, Cass, there's nothing you did wrong. I just, it's... You're but just he really said he high class out? with this TV show stuff and da 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 da. Well, he tried okay. to ghost me and I wasn't going to let him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Ghost. Why are you guys laughing so hard? Oh my. Dicks. Because you're such a fucking dude. She's a bro. For See? real. You are a bro. I told you. She's like, she was going ducks nowhere. on the weekend and she was her shot during the week. You think you can run from me? I'm on TV. She was like. <laughs> she said he was trying to ghost me. I wasn't going to let him. That is fucking good. No, you're going to tell me why you're not responding to me when you were just telling me that you can't wait to fall in love with me the day before, you weirdo. How many people How many people do you think have said that they, they love you? And I say, not that many. Less than 10? Yeah. Okay. Well. I love love, and I think everybody can see that on the show. And, like, yeah. I think I just feel things very – I just why? feel – I. I feel things, you but know? do you think you know? You ever have a dude that you like, right? But then he goes a little too hard, and it makes you like kind of unlike him because, like, it's yeah. almost like too much, it's right? Too much. But when he's like ignoring you a little bit, do you know what sure. I mean? Sure. So, how like, messed up is that though? But the same thing too. So to women not right. Though, too. It's true. It's the same women, thing. Like if a woman was like yeah. too much, I'd be like, "Oh, but what are you gonna do?" T-? Like, there's a um, there's this uh, thing I posted. It was like. When a girl um, like falls too fast or whatever, and this girl's like, "Hey, hi, actually, we're gonna have her on the podcast next week. Uh, yeah. She's a local. She's actually a really good content creator, and luckily we're gonna have her." But love that. Um, and just so you guys know, for people that yesterday were like, "You're picking on women," 
All I've had are women guests, minus one dude. So if I'm not empowering women, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All right? Shout out to March Women's Month, whatever. Period. Um, March Women's Month? March, okay. is, March is Women's Month, right? Yeah. Oh, see? See? I didn't even know that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big, like... I'm, yeah, again, a, I'm a dude. Not so. a She's like, fuck that, <laughs> yeah. month, bro. These bitches need to go to the kitchen and clean. No, nah, just kidding. Um, <laughs> but definitely clean. Okay, that... No, no, that's but that, why but people that's don't think joke. you're empowering. But that that's way. a joke, though. That's a joke. You know what I mean? It's I do like, like cleaning. You have to be. And she loves cleaning. <laughs> Yo. So like even a girl sent me this the other day because because she, she's like, All right, since you're bashing women. But she laughed at it. She goes, it was a <laughs> it was a meme. It said 3.9 billion women on Earth and it's still dirty. <laughs> Dude, that was funny. <laughs> I don't care what you say. That was funny. But look, back to. You being a fucking dude. Look, I think it is every guy and is always falls victim to that too. It's like when you're like, dude, I like this girl so much, but chill. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Sure. Chill. But oh, oh that's what I was talking about. The the girl with the content. She was like, yeah. when you follow up, she was like, Hi, how you doing? I mean, it's her first day. It's, I love it. Um, what's your favorite color? Mine's green. Um, yeah. It's the worst. This is going really good. Just so you know, like, I came out of a real bad relationship, but I don't even think about that person anymore. And I think this is going really well. And I think, like, we, we, like I love you, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's just the first day? Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's a little too fast. Okay. Right. Uh, what do you want to do second day? That's a lot. Even if the girl's cool as shit, sometimes, and I get it too, though, like, you ever hang out with someone and be like, I know this is not how you usually act. You may be just a little excited. Yes, 100%, which is was me, like, the very first episode. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Run it back. You try having seven cameras in front of you on a first date. It's awful. Highly do not recommend. Yeah. And unless you're shooting a porn or something. Yeah. Even you know? seven is kind of excessive. Maybe four. Um, seven? What do they have? Yeah. What are they? One shooting a bird? What? Like. You you have no idea. I had no idea what to expect, and it's wild. Damn. Is it all lit up, too? Is there, like, lights and stuff? Just worse than this. Yeah. More than this. Yeah. So the very first time that I met Alan and talked to him alone, it was, like, I remember that. Lights, seven cameras. They had a clock, so you didn't go over your time with him. Oh. And it's, like, massive. Is it, like, counting, is it counting down or up? Down. 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 Worse. Way worse. They had the shot clock. I mean, I asked if this guy's nervous. I'm like, feel my heart. Yo, when you said that, I can see him so hesitant on touching your chest. He, yeah. Now like, that we know who he is, like, it makes a lot of sense. He was like, no, I'm cool. <laughs> I usually have shit like, on my hands. No PDA whatsoever. We're not even going to like. Not, he, so he's not like. Mm -mm -mm. Have, he's, a, he's a pat on the back or like a. Uh, like to burn. Watch him the whole way through the, the whole. And then like for me. My family way, and I were big bear huggers. Pat. Like, give me a yeah. freaking hug, dude. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. just how I was raised. And I think it has a lot to do with my love languages and, you know what I mean, how I show other people I love them. But, yeah, I should have known. I should have known from right then. Same. Yeah. I mean, you. I feel like you wanted it to work. Totally. There's a lot of things to like about him. Yeah. Tell me about him. I, I mean, I, I feel like I've learned more about you. We're good. I don't want to talk about him. Okay. <laughs> Tune in on the season finale. Um, it's just not that exciting to talk about, All right, cool. To be let's, honest. let's talk about me. But, uh, like, we can talk about the episode, but, like, as far as, like, telling you what Alan's like, like. Whatever. Yeah, let's he's talk. Funny and he's funny. Cool. He's a good guy and easy to talk to. Yeah. But there's, yeah. And you know what's so funny? That's really all, all I really you got. You know what's so funny? <laughs> there, there are more likable, cool guys out there than people think. I think. I like to think. Because I've met them, but I feel like they feel, <laughs> and let me explain before you fucking throw your fucking tiara at me, okay? I feel that they that those men feel overpowered by those fucking dudes who are the ones that like, you know, I, I had this joke. I said, uh, maybe your relationship would work. It was a Scottsdale joke. I'm like, maybe your relationship would work if you guys, if you girls stopped rotating the same 10 dudes in Scottsdale, right? And it's because for the majority, they're not. Majority of dudes, they're working, they're being ambitious. They, But the thing is that they already have this precedent. Like, they, they already know, like, these. And it's it sucks because then they're making an assumption on the girls. Like, they just want to be taken to Toka Madera, Maple and Ash, Ocean. I mean, you're already describing the most basic girl in Scottsdale. But that's what I'm saying, though. But a lot of guys feel like that. <laughs> they feel like if they can't bring you there, and they're like, oh, what if I wanted to take her to fucking Buffalo Wild Wings? You know, like. I love B-dubs. Be Let's go. She even said B-dubs. She's she's for real about it. Listen, yeah. talk to me. I'm from little town nowhere, Alabama. Like, what's it called? B Dubs is where we went out to dinner in Trustful in the town over. You know what I mean? That's where they went for a wedding. What's, what 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 part of Alabama? <laughs> the reception, are you from? anyways. Who's wedding? I don't know. <laughs> you made that up. CEO B Dubs. <laughs> what what part of Alabama? 
Uh, just outside of Birmingham. Super Bur- small town. Little four-way stop town. Little four-way stop town. Four-way stop Except town. this guy just ghosted me because I'm high class. Like, bro, what? Like, what? I used to roll in shit as a kid. No, so. I showed you those stop signs. Yeah, okay, you can't get a clue. <laughs> so, another thing. I, I've been watching. Because you know I stalk you. Uh, I've been, Knew it. Yeah, I'm always like. Yeah. I think I, you've accidentally liked one or two before. Liked what? One or two a what? photo. I've always liked your photos. Was- like go back from like weeks ago. Oh, like, like when we, yeah. Like three hundred forty. I have no weeks. problem doing that. The joke's I'm over bored. now. Yeah, whatever. You sucked at that. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this girl, man. <laughs> it's my show, goddammit. I need that farmer over here. Oh, there's a part where you pushed him. What was that? Re- I forget what was the reason. You like pushed him because he you said yeah. something. Oh, that was me flirting. We were flirting. Okay, okay. Aww. Well, I was flirting. So you pushed um, him. Okay. Well, yeah. I was in flirting. hindsight. <laughs> Definitely flirting, just me. Um, <laughs> he was almost knocked oh, down. He, oh, because he was making fun of me. We were sitting in silence eating apples on our little picnic on the side of the river. Oh, I know why. Because he said the only mm-hmm. time you've been quiet is when you've been sleeping. Yeah, he said the only time I had been quiet was when I was asleep, which... I love that you talk a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just like, even, I'm just a people person. I just I don't like even talking think to you people. Talk a lot. Wild, you, you, you talk like <laughs> me. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm just nonstop sometimes. Because I'm like... Because I'm... I'll yeah, like, you've definitely talked more in this podcast than me for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you've been talking a lot. No, but I'm just not bashful. I think some people, Same. I I almost don't think of what I'm going to say sometimes. And I just kind of say it. And then if I have to apologize about something, I will if I feel like it's needed. But, sure, right. But right. for the most part, like, yo, I'm not scared to be like, yo. No, I just speak I what's on my mind. Yeah. I feel like that means you're a confident person. You're not like afraid of what it might come off like or what it might look like. So it's like, yeah, I, I don't I just care. Think, I, I, we I've know that. Seen, <laughs> I've also seen like it personally with women, uh-huh. like with me, like that's something that's attractive. Like, oh, this dude is not a fucking like a guy that you know, like a beta dude, whatever yeah. that means, you know, to everyone. <laughs> uh, there's and, a fine you know, line, but there like, is. yeah. But I'm also not an asshole, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> is the jury's still out. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm I'm screenshotting them shits and putting it on the web. On the World Wide Web. No, but like... Not the World Wide Web. <laughs> not the world, no, the World Wide Web, dude. It's a thing. It's terrible, by the way. I hate it now. Yeah, it used to be very simple, right? The trolls suck. Yeah. I had a it's question. Like Remember, what was I saying? I've been watching your stuff, mm-hmm. stalking so you. So I've never, been, never stopped talking. Never stopped talking. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, Why did I People him? think your teeth are fake. Yes. Is that, where do you get like the most like comments like that at? Like... Uh, Facebook moms. Really? Yeah. Oh. Facebook is the worst comments, which is kind of crazy, right? Yeah. That's but weird to think oh, about. Those are everyone's on the day high school. up in Facebook. I mean, you're on Facebook. It is, you better get ready. You better have some thick freaking skin, some big old testes. What are they I mean, you? <laughs> what is the worst thing you heard? Well, like, whatever. The worst part is that they like comment on my personal TikTok and like third person and I'll respond what? and just say, if you're going to be mean, if you're going to be a mean girl, you're, you're a mom of two and you're a teacher. Oh. And if you're going to come on here and be like, honey, it just, there's just issues with you. That like, But in third person, so she'll be like, she honey. has, well. One of my favorite things you did so far. Thank you. Yeah. I call everybody honey. No, no, but you And like, babe. Honey. Oh, or, or, okay. Great example. Hey, I call everyone babe, honey. So many people would go on to my tick. Yeah, you're not special. Um <laughs> It is. <laughs> After Scottsdale. Oh, I cracked myself up. Okay, so listen. This is a good episode. Listen to me. Okay. TikTok. I called Alan, babe and honey from day one. Mm-hmm. That's just who I am, right? Mm-hmm. I call all girls that. So they'll go on my TikTok and comment. She really just isn't it. I mean, she just ca- calls him babe and honey way too much. And it's just so needy. I will respond and go, if you want to be mean to me, you could just say you need to, da da da. I'm like, you don't have to speak in third person on my personal TikTok. <laughs> TikTok? <laughs> Her fucking face. Yo, TikTok. so weird to me. Like, me- mean people are weird to me. I think it's very yeah, odd. But here's the thing also, so, reality yeah. TV is for those people. Do you get what I'm saying? A thousand percent. I recognize that I put myself their, out there their to be melting, judged. brains are oozing out of their ears. They have nothing else to do. I their, right. Their I understand some, that, you know. but I it's it's hard when you're not in control of your narrative. When you were you were really excited about something, and you can't control the narrative, and so because of that, everybody forms opinions on you, and you 
you know you signed up for it, but you don't know until you know. Like, does that make sense? That makes perfect. You don't realize. So, how, anyways, how much it is? Yeah, it's different than yeah. what I can explain. Oh, yeah. I'll get a hundred good comments, and one comment's like, "Right, saw him, in, saw him live. Not that good." Exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. But it, and then I don't go searching for the negative stuff either. Twitter, I deleted yeah. it immediately. I hired somebody to help oh. run my Twitter when I had to live tweet during the episodes. Got off of there. I don't go searching for it. But it's when they leave a comment on your own personal thing where you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, comments on my TikTok. <laughs> you suck. Like, cool. You thought. Yeah. Yo, you are awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And no, and to be honest, but to your point, literally, it's about 2% are mean, and the rest of people are really, really, yeah, the really majority sweet. Is, but you know, I was talking to some comics about it. They're like, you know, the whole Joe Rogan sure, thing so is like, hard. don't read the comments, right? Don't read the comments. Right. But like I was talking to Chris Stefano, yeah. and Chris Stefano mm-hmm. was like, dude, it's oh, it's so crazy because I had to stop. He actually got off um, social media altogether. He has someone that does his own posting. He'll email. And I was with him, and he was doing it. And he goes, he goes, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. The mean ones are whatever, and it, sometimes they'll fuck you up and be like, this person I don't even know. It's like affecting me. And then he goes, but then there's one where it's like an insecurity you personally have, and they fucking nailed it. Yeah. And that's the one that hurts the most. That's why he was For like, sure. I had to like get like off of it you. or just stop reading them. Yeah. Like it's like yeah. YouTube comment. I don't look at any of this shit. I don't look at any of this shit. And it's just like, um, we can go as long as we want. But it's it's just like, um, I don't know. It, it it's almost weird that people like are like. And they'll and they'll comment with like a private shit. I'm like, yo, let me let me go look at this. Come on, leave your shit open. Let's yeah. let, let's talk. Right, with like six followers. I'm let's like, oh, is this your burner? Like, what is it going definitely on is. here? I mean, if you're fuck? gonna ha- be mean, like, have the balls to do it from your own personal account. 100. percent Anything I comment, like when I go to those large pages, and they'd be like, you know, whatever. It'll be like a divorce settlement thing, and I'm like, this is bullshit. Sucking dick doesn't deserve 100 million dollars. And then I'll have a bunch of people, but I I invite it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'll invite things like that. Like, go ahead. That's yeah, kind of my purpose. I'm also that. trolling as fuck. Well, it depends how good the blowjob is. But, so, your, your fake teeth. Let's talk mm-hmm. about it. Right, so they go back to it. So, that's the weirdest part to me, though, is you're going to just literally blatantly put it. Her teeth are so fake, if I've ever seen them. How would you know? You just, Ask me. You just I'll take you care know. of your I'm teeth. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah. yes, I whiten my teeth. I, have, I, I had paid for Invisalign. It was pretty expensive, but uh, it did great. And like yeah, like people th- like I try to like. Uh, Just ask me. No, my dear. My ex was in the dental space. Anyways, but show me. How long like, ago was that ex? Oh, um, <laughs> long anyways, enough for t- him to make that face. <laughs> anyways, but like not long ago, where he still brings her up. Okay. She stuck a knife in my wall about uh, two months ago. But anyways. No um, way, really, really. Oh yeah. The whole episode dedicated yeah. to it. Um, but she told me how like so just like filing your teeth could make it look kind of like. I'm glad you're here with us. Really nice. Like and just it makes it look a little fake. Is if you white in, if the, the doctor files them really nice. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to get like fucking veneers. <laughs> What's up? Anyways, knife in the wall. That'll be the name of this episode. <laughs> or it'll be what? Take Literally. A, no, the episode name and just, we'll just throw it on the wall. We, we don't have to be right now. It could be. Do you want a picture? Do you want that? That's what I'll take it to. Do you want a picture? Do you want a picture? I wanted to take a photo with you so we could show that we were together. That's all I was trying to do. I'm sure. That's yet, fine. yet you don't remember, but then she's like, "Oh, I know, I said this," and then at the end she goes, "I, remember I don't the exact even details." Remember. <laughs> um. Okay, here, here's what's crazy: is let's call it knife in the wall. Let's talk like <laughs> we're not gonna <laughs> call it that. <laughs> no, we're gonna no. call it. Uh, um, do you want to take a picture? Okay, that's fine. No, do you want a picture? It's not you even take. No, you- see, now you got back and forth because you're running with this now. You know you're not being that honest, but that's okay. You don't we'll even just remember call it whatever it. Eric wants to call it. It's his podcast. Oh, thank you. It's finally <laughs> something. Okay, I'm listen. Fucking, talk to me. Talk to me, babe. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Hang on. What's up, honey? <laughs> oh, naming the podcast. The name of the podcast. There is an episode on Hulu for the show that is literally just named after me getting turned down. It is called Why Won't He Kiss Miss? And it, that's about me. It's just about me. The whole episode oh, is named after me I, getting oh, turned down. Dude, I, and I know, this. hey, Gatsby, I'm going to play the audio of this. Just find the the video. Dude, I mean, she posted it, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's okay. It's hilarious. Hold on. I'm like foaming at the mouth. Don't want to have him give him the space. I want to go, why don't you want to kiss me? I want to kiss you. I mean, I want to have him give him the space. I 
oh. fell for Cass. No, no. Babe, I fell for babe. her so much. I kissed I kissed the phone when I saw that. Aww. I was like, there you, you go, baby. kiss me? Of course. We'll do Thank it live on the you. show. On the Patreon. I did get some really crazy DMs after that. It was pretty funny. But listen, and I'm like, thank you guys. Because like, I don't care if you're just, you know... This old man that's creepy answer, you're helping my self-esteem. Because that really was, <laughs> to be honest, a lot of people were like, how are you so upset? Bro, you just got turned on national television. You try to do it and see yeah, if your you ego do. feels Seven good. Cameras. See if you feel yeah. good about yourself. Right. Like, knowing the whole world's going to watch it. Yeah. I mean, shoot or shoot. I shot my shot. I tried. But I really Wait, thought he, he'd kiss? be like, yeah, I, sure. I didn't get to that episode. You tried to kiss? You I, like, I literally was like, I want to kiss you. And he's just like. This girl's so aggressive. Uh, I love it. Not well. He was getting ready to go on his second date. He picked me for his first date. This show's amazing. Picked me for the first date to go back like home with him before everybody else. We had a great first date, and so then before he picked the next girl, I wanted to kiss him just to like see if the sparks there, right? I mean, you do have to rush and things. Just to be honest, you do on the show. Yeah, I mean, to it's, see it's if a there's a spark or not. Frame. Yeah, it's like a fucking. It's not that long. It's a tournament. right. You're trying to see if there's something there, and I wanted to like. I don't know, like, see if that was there and have him remember that before he goes into the second date because I liked the guy. I thought it was a normal request. We had been hanging out. I lived in his home for a week at this point. It wasn't wow. like I just met him for two hours. No. Damn. I woke up and cooked that man's breakfast. I cooked that man's dinner. I cleaned his floors. I cleaned his kitchen. Like, you had shit on your hands? And people are like, why are you so upset you just met him? No, I didn't. You don't understand. Like, we had basically hung out for an entire week at that point. Damn. Okay. When you're that. almost 30, and he was 32, he's 32 at the time, yeah. it's normal to have a kids stash, be like dude. each other, right? Of course. Definitely. He's got the, and they also call it um, the Fu Man, no. The handlebar? Nope. It's a Fu Man shoe. My no, dad. Shoe. Yeah, it's a, like, yeah. line on the uh -huh, side. And the... It's a, but everybody calls it right. Yeah. But do you want to see the full scene though? And then yes. people are using it as like can memes you now. Can Gatsby too, so we can run it. On oh, so people can see dude, it. this is so good. Look, look at this. Yeah, look I'll at this. It so Just put the audio. It. Somebody posted. <laughs> That's so bad. Where's it at? Where's the one you're like? <sighs> Hang on. Oh, there's one that's so fucking funny. I stalk her sometimes. Here we go. That one friend that says she met a cowboy. At the rodeo last night. Oh, I don't have terrible service. You knew I just I like him. I'm like a little kid. And I'm like, I want to go on a second date and I can't because he's going on a date with another girl, which is what I signed up for. I don't know why because I'm crazy. And I'm so vulnerable on this. <laughs> Yo, she said Yo. I'm crazy. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I don't know if I'm Whoa. terrified or turned on. I like how you liked it, though. <laughs> but, I reposted that. Dude, but that's like, like 40,000 views. I'm like, that's okay. hilarious. Bro, that, bro, that's the best part of her whole shit. It's just like self-deprecating, which is big in comedy, right? It's like, oh, I'm whatever. I'm a short game, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but that's what's cool. That's what I liked about her shit. Like this shit right here. No, I'm not feeling good. Which you do, yeah. First thing after I they I got turned down, they they pull me for an OTF. Those are called OTFs. Every time you see me talk like that, those are called on the flies, and they try to catch you like, and the, they try to catch you how you're feeling. Yeah, it's like a comment, like after the game, kind of like a, a immediately athlete. after they want to get yeah. you in your feels. So yeah. they pull me for this OTF. So Cassidy Joe, how you feeling right now? And I'm like, uh, not very good. And then that's when I started foaming at the mouth and crying. And you're a good crier. No, <laughs> it's a, yep. She's a good cry. I did but it, they're, but they're literally like six she, of the twelve episodes. <laughs> she just got her heart broke. Let me shove a camera in her face. And ask her. Yeah, it was more of like How my pride feel? was hurt. It was yeah. it of was course. really hard to be like, wow, I tried to put myself and out honestly, there and was the turned way down. You're just it was like, upsetting. You can make fun of it. It's kind of it, it, it's a testament of like, yeah, I'm kind of over it. Because that's like what from we, the day I left, I was over it. Yeah, well, that's good. Hey, as a reminder. No, because like in well, comedy, people, people forget this was six months ago for me. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah, act yeah. like I'm still caught up on Alan. I'm like, mm, that was Dude, literally half a year ago. I'm like yo, more she, than that. She's so. sliding in DMs constantly, asking people for pictures. So they're in, sliding in mine, but yeah, you. I'm not in theirs. I don't slide in people's DMs first. Yeah, Girls yeah. do that, and I don't. You won't ask a guy out, like hey. No, I, I just, actually, if a guy like will just DM me his number, mm -hmm. I'll be like, I'm sorry. And I know this is lame and cheesy and old school, but yeah. I do want to text you. But I, if you want my number, I'll give it to you and you can ask for it. But I'm not going to just text you first just because you shot me your phone uh, number. I'm like, that's oh. weird. So they have to initiate it. But I, I always preface like, hey, I just want you to understand. I do want to talk with you. It's just very old school for me. Like, I want to be asked for my number. 
There's just like yeah. something about that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so you know, I don't ever DM anybody first. And if they DM me. But you do cook breakfast and a man's dinner mm -hmm. and clean floors mm -hmm. and I shit in your hands. can't get a kiss for it. Well, I did, I ended up, I did end up getting a kiss and it was oh, good, literally just to shut me do. up because I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like that girl at the party is like, can someone kiss this guy so he can shut the fuck up? That was exactly what it was. Because I was chirping at him, making oh, sure that he was ready. Chirping. He had just gotten divorced a year prior. Like, damn. <laughs> so yeah, I, and at that point. I just was trying to make sure, like, I'm terrified. Are you really here for the right reasons? And, mm. you know, um, I wish lipstick on this now. That's fine. <laughs> this is no teeth marks Yo. on it. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> anyway, we'll so I did get a kiss, but it was literally just to be like, shut up, Cassidy. Like, shut the fuck up. Yep. I've had one of those in ninth grade. It was worth it. Oh. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> so your first kiss? No. When was your first kiss? I think I was in kindergarten. Aw. And I kissed this dude. This no, just dude. kidding. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, I uh, there was a girl named Maria, and I'm not going to say her last name, but she wasn't actually Hispanic. She was uh, Italian. And uh, me and my friend at the nice. time were like like nuts about her. I mean, yeah. as nuts as five-year-olds could be. I mean, I, I went to a store and stole something and got it for her. It was like a plastic ring. I thought that would be enough. And it was. And she kissed me, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, that was it. And then uh, my friend kissed her the next day. So just let me Did know. Did you just make that up? Nice. No. Okay. No, that's very <laughs> Let me know that these kindergarten, There's a first and last kindergarten sure. bitches ain't shit. I'll never forget when I had like my first makeout session when my friends oh, how had to teach was me how it? to like slow down. How sloppy. <laughs> you look, you you look like somebody that needs to fucking suck. Check. <laughs> this is really wet. She was like, yo, the guy's like, yo, dude. Should I wear a bib next time we fucking make out? This <laughs> girl got all her fucking saliva, perfect teeth this juice lip on gloss me. all over his fucking... I wasn't drooling. Just sparkle. Oh, I had no lip gloss on. Dude, I wore hoodies. I, like, slick my... <laughs> she was like, I'm going to be a beauty queen one day. He's like, sure, pal. Sure, pal. Come and get this tongue. Sure, pal. Let's, let's kiss. I'm, I'm secretly into dudes. <laughs> what is this? My broken glass. <laughs> she, she she's had her eye on eyes on it. Well, great. No, now you broke. Broken. You owe now her. I can't wear them. <laughs> it's like that scene in Friends. It's like you broke the fridge. Hey, <laughs> I'm wearing one currently. He's one of the needies that was at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't said one bad she, thing about you. This I know, <laughs> dude. She is a fireball. You are a very insult. nice person. I don't know how you're friends with now. Eric. Like. <laughs> I don't know how you're friends with Eric. <laughs> okay, you're blind. Wow. Why, wow. Girl up, Why the are you to hanging on to these? <laughs> Memento? <laughs> They're a good talking point. Why do you have these? <laughs> Here at Eric Bernalsha. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm oh. serious. Why do you have you these? Glasses, you could, yeah. Babe. She can shame me all she wants. Baby gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, we Sorry. have, we ha we do have questions We're for you. We're reeling it in. We do have questions yeah. for you, and we will be talking. Let's, let's bring it in. Don't Aww. worry. I'm not like Alan. <laughs> Can you imagine my name would be all Alan? Right. Would not fit We're me at questions. all. Questions. So, what, why and, am I so close though? I don't know. Not to touch me like that. I mean, my my arms just there. Up. Yeah, it's a little. What are you? It is fucking to, like, hot. Save pennies, it's like it's like a little hot. Degrees. Jesus. Hey, uh, stage head. A little airflow. <laughs> stage head. Stage Adam. Yeah. Hey, Adam. What's up? Uh, stage, can, you turn we it need, down? can you put down the AC down to like, Just like a 60? Hair. Yeah, it's a little, little stuffy. <laughs> 60. Yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> all right, so we do have questions. Don't okay. know what these questions are, but I'm ready. Uh, Gatsby knows. Just all answer right. all the. If they're stupid, no obviously. Whatever. Just put it down. Lower. A few degrees. Just lower. Just lower. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. <laughs> uh, I forgot he's like a computer. You gotta tell him the exact amount. <laughs> um, said, what's the dating scene like in AZ for women? Put the mic wait, wait, to uh, your uh, mouth. Oh, we were ready. Hang on. I was gonna do a little hair check. Go ahead. Uh, here we well, go. as she's doing her hair check, this is actually a perfect time for me to run our run an ad. one of our sponsors run here. An ad. Really excited for the Eric Bernal show. Uh, we have uh, joined with a dropship company. Nice. Dropship company. Um, and basically, if you're looking to make some passive income this year, hit up my friends uh, for the win at e-com. E I know them personally, actually. My boy, the e, uh, his, his uh, IG is the e-com poppy. 
Um, I thought it was pretty clever. Uh, but I know them personally and a great group of guys. Uh, they're making a lot of people a lot of money. Uh, solid returns on monthly basis via uh, Amazon and Walmart stores. If you're interested, make sure to go to their website. Uh, Gatsby, if we could just put www.ftwecom.com right here. Um, and book a call and learn more about this great opportunity. If you mention my name, you'll receive $1,000 off the onboarding fee. Those are my guys. They be doing a lot of stuff. They go out to nice dinners, so I know they, they're making some money. And uh, they are making, uh, I know actually one person who had joined them, and they're making some good returns. So a lot of opportunity in that space. Who knows what they're using, AI, chat, GPT, whatever. Um, but they're my guys. Hit up my boy, Ecar Papi, and then we'll put, uh, can we put their links on the YouTube uh, yeah, we'll do that. All right, cool. And that's that. The dating scene in Scottsdale specifically is... Not to be mistaken with... <laughs> okay. That's fair. So, yeah, no, Time the dating that, scene sucks. Go. Do you think the dating scene in Scottsdale sucks, Eric? Mm, dating scene... It's hard. It is difficult. Because it, intention is hard to tell. Yeah. That's the, that's the difficult part, is intention. Intention is the hardest part to tell because, yeah. I mean, I used to always say this joke like, you know, women always say, you know, you don't, you never know a man's intention, but it's like, yeah, we just want to fuck. But yeah, we like, we know your intention but, every time. But, yeah, no, man, not me. I'm different. Um, but I was like, you never know a woman's intention because does she like you or she's just hungry? You know what I mean? Does she like you or she's just never been to ocean? You know? Does she like <laughs> you? Family's restaurant. You know? Oh damn. Did she know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, my aunt and uncle. Can we go together? Mm-hmm. Cool. You still gotta pay. <sighs> the fucking hookup is this shit. Yeah, it's not like it's not like BWW, like where it, you can go eat all you want. Like that stuff's like they fly that fish in every day. Like I don't even eat free there. So no hookup. We'll go places that I get a hookup at. <sighs> Burger King. Beat ups. Um, <laughs> so any other questions? Yeah. We so, have uh, okay. <laughs> another question. Why don't girls want to date anymore? Damn, that was a question. <laughs> Why don't girls want to date anymore? Yeah, that's it. Why don't girls want to date anymore? Um, the good ones do. But I could also say the same about guys. I think that a lot of guys, it's just more casual for some reason. I don't know. For me, I'm looking for a husband. Same. I'm looking for a wife. All right. I don't know. I don't know why it's so casual. I just think it's just it's the damn society rap music. in general now. People don't really Look at things Believe the same. traditionally. And, yep. And they wonder why they're depressed. But anyways, go ahead. And then, uh, and then, why is she not dating my boy Eric yet? He's the goat. <laughs> <laughs> goat is capitalized, too. Oh, goat is capitalized, which is good. <laughs> not like I am a goat, time. which you'd be more right. familiar with. You know, for the longest time, I didn't even know what goat meant. Like, I was like, why do people say you're the goat? It's very sweet. I think, I, I think that's the answer. Though. We're not dating because I've met you twice. <sighs> Third time's a charm. Officially, was, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's take a picture. And then somebody probably watched the show. It said, uh, did she feel like she may have been too controlling? Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. On the about. show? That's, that's, this is a good... I think that's what it, right, I think that's what it was. Good. This is what we like, were... It sounds like somebody that's watched the it's show. It's good, for sure. It does. And yeah. this goes back to my point of not being in control of your narrative, and it's really hard. Right, like everything in life, we're in charge of like how we want others to perceive what us, we what pose, we post, yeah. what we say. When I get on stage at Miss USA, I could walk faster, I could slow down. I mean, yeah. Well, I want to. When you go and up. do this, like you're full yourself, but how they edit everything and try to fit everything in one episode, you don't have control over that. Yeah. And I'm just saying they had a lot to put in there, so we would film all day, and you would only see a minute and a half. That's but what she said. Alan and I would film all day long, and yeah. you would only see this part. And you wouldn't know how they would cut it together at the end of the show or whatever right and yeah i can't say much on that because my nda i'll get sued oh, yeah. but um it's up actually a year from so last she night, said so. why why were you <laughs> nice. so controlling or do you think you were controlling do you, does she think she was so controlling i wasn't controlling um just i think just painted. what they showed everyone in the little yeah. time they could was those moments where i just asked for what i wanted so yeah. Interesting. Call me Without controlling. Too much. But yeah, you, have yeah, you, you, they didn't get to see the other six hours of our day filming together mm. where we had a lot of fun. There you go. Hey, yeah. you. I hope they're satisfied for that. Yeah. Anything else? Um, what kind of drugs do the pageant girls do? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, what? Adderall maybe? That's, I, I, I am on, yeah, I do take Vyvanse. 
Is that is that? Some glue tied. Remember when I told you that? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a big believer in like I'm so glad that we live in the times that we live in. Yeah. Yep. I, sorry. No, not the wrong. Oh, you know but what I, I mean, like, uh, I believe in a natural, like, certain natural ways, like things. I'm a big, yeah. like, um, what you call it, person. Yeah. But if you take, like, the limitless drug, then you would, like, the no limitless drug. Right. Yeah. Question. No, but anyways, but I am. No, um, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Just because no. you're a pageant girl doesn't mean you're perfect, so people might do drugs. I have no idea. I would there think something to Pump. with weight and shit. While I sit next to the guy who literally posted about cocaine today. I love you more. <laughs> Well, good thing. I was just Why about, did you I was do just that? about to compliment her. Um, it was a joke. I don't know if you know <laughs> what I do. I do um it's kinda like theater. Um but not every, and, yeah, and, and, and that's why and, and brings me to my next point, which you're I like have another promoting point. cocaine. I'm not promoting it, it's making a joke. Which you, here's the thing. You have to be okay. I just want people to be careful. Now people people are dying from fentanyl and it's getting mixed They're dying together. Fentanyl, not like, cocaine. I, I think it's not the time to joke about it. I worry about That's the perfect time to joke about it. Though. All right, go for it. See? But that's the thing. It's like he's single, ladies. Why? He's so understanding. But th but that's that's the issue with the dating scene for me. It's just like they're like, "Ever you can't be." And I'm like, it "Has nothing." I, I know you're completely joking every I, time. I, I, I could literally I, I post things and they mean nothing to me personally. Absolutely nothing. If you look yep. at my Instagram, I have no pictures of my family. I have it's literally for work. That's all. One hundred percent. That's all it is. I and I don't even like tagging like. My family and my shit, like happy birthday. Like I don't even really do that. And if you're hanging out with girls that don't understand that, you're not on but dates that, with a lot the of right girls. girls. Don't get it. They're like, what, what do you mean? Um, whatever, where the hoes are at, you know? And like that, that, that <laughs> meme is like, no, babe. I, I was just want to know where they're at, so I wouldn't go. Yeah. You know. One. Of the, but anyways, I was in the middle of trying to compliment you, and then like this whole. No, thing you weren't in the middle of it. You hadn't even started yet. I wanted to because I was waiting. And you're like, yeah, you shingles, ladies. <laughs> Something that I really like about you. <laughs> Something that I really like about you. don't like have to. If, it, if it's that painful, you don't have to. Cassidy, shut up, okay? Has anyone told you that? I don't lately? do that. Jesus Christ. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, something I really like about her. But you her. can tell her roll. She's just really Dude, like. <laughs> she's a motherfucker. Anyways, uh, but I love her. Um, I don't do you that. play piano. I, I just like mess around myself. You sing. Yeah. I My goal is to take piano lessons. I love and just me too. Have time. The reason why is that I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to perform all all of me by John Legend, and just like Oof. be able to stick it. That's the cringiest one you could say that you want to. All right, learn. what what should I sing? Baby, lock the doors and turn the lights down low. Oh, what uh, what's some other shit? <laughs> Off and slow, baby, we ain't got no place to, to go. go. I hope you understand. understand. Wow. Do you want a karaoke today with me? Would you want to? Yeah. Down? I actually need an alcoholic beverage while we do it. Yeah, we're going to go. I'm down? in need of an alcoholic beverage. We're going to go beverage. down? I'm going to film it. And actually, we'll put yeah. us karaoke on the Patreon. I will film That's it today. Yeah. We're going to go. Um, there's a place I just don't want to shout them out because they're not paying me to. Um, <laughs> doing not it yet. tonight. Not, not yet. yet. Actually, well, I'm actually in the middle of. They want me to start hosting it. Their contract is up with that company uh, this month. It's a it's a karaoke place. Where it's at? a place that does karaoke. Oh, okay. Well, we'll talk about Same it. Thing. There you go. <laughs> it's just this Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we date. Nothing gets faster. Yo, for real, I love her. Um, no, but back to me trying to compliment you. When have we dated? Right now, we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Can, oh my God! <laughs> if we could recreate a scene where she pushes me off a chair, um, no. But I love that. I actually, or I could just ask for a I, kiss, and you're like, no. I, I, I love that. Um, don't do that I'm to me, Cassidy. Into the why was crazy. Cass, stop. Okay, stop. I'm blushing. I'm stopping. Um, <laughs> no, I. I'm waiting. I love that you like. Play, you're like I'm fooling around, but you actually do know how to play a few a few things, and you sing, and that's like my shit. Like, that's like me, and he'll tell you like anywhere we travel, all over the country. If there's live music, I mm. have to stop yeah. by. If there's yeah, like you enjoy somebody's that. just like banging on a drum and singing, and like yeah, it's dope. Like a karaoke yeah. bar nearby. Karaoke yeah, bar. We, we always go. Always go. We I always hit up when we're in L.A. Yeah. When yeah. a haha -ha comedy. When we're in Chicago. Like anywhere. It's like we'll yeah. and, and if people aren't singing, we'll make them sing, even if it's not a karaoke. I think everybody bar. should sing. I think everybody should like. Do it. You know what I mean? I will sing a song for you tonight. <laughs> Cause tonight. No. Uh, we'll no, but be the night. You know, I will fall for you. Over again. 
so, something tells me that people are going to want her back for a fucking another episode <laughs> where we don't have okay. to talk about a farm or anything. But no, um, I like that. I like that shit, man. I think that's Thank dope. Thank you. What, what, what's, what's up next for you, though? What's, what's going to be next for Cassidy? Joe. Joe. Um, I'm just kidding. I go by that on the show. And every time I have like somebody with Fox on, like an interview or something with me, Cassidy they Joe. always have to make sure, like, you please make sure you call her Cassidy Joe. And I'm like, I'm not that legit. Like, you can call me whatever you want. Case. Um, what's next for me? You know what? I don't know. Like, I live a very normal life. I'm yeah. like, actually, that's kind of what I want. I'm like, okay with that. Like, success is just. I don't know, having a husband that doesn't cheat and making, you know, money where you feel comfortable. Like, uh, I think now that I was on a television show, people automatically assume I'm going to move to L.A. And I'm like, oh, nope, that I doesn't. Sure, no. it was no. just, it was Reality so TV doesn't pay my bills yet. And, and you know what I mean? So when I was at the lab the other day, somebody was like, I'm, I'm surprised you're still hanging around this place. I was like, uh... <laughs> I know. Why? I know. People see me do like one fucking big theater with. Right. And I'm not even the fucking headliner. I'm like, I'm not the one that made 50K tonight. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I, I make really good money with this job. Why would I not be here? Do you, I have no one else contributing to my bill. She's like, well, that's my point is like, you should marry a millionaire now that you can. I'm like, babe, I could have before. And also. That, that doesn't what are, why are, is that what we're trying to teach women nowadays? It seems Absolutely like it, not. It seems like it, though. It seems like this Cardi B, and I always say Do you this, really think this like, Cardi B see, era. Of course I hate it is. That. Because it's always, and then, but that's like the, always the thing that I always go back and forth with my own female friends. They're like, no, he can't be a bum. He has to make this much money. He has to be this I don't this care tall. how much you make. I want you to be hardworking. Yes, but not everyone thinks that. You have like traditional values. Everyone here thinks it's they're just fucking not. It shouldn't be that rare to shit. think the way I think. Is that her name? Ice Spice? Ice Spice, yeah. Ice spice. It's one of those sayings, and my children will know this, my daughter specifically. You can, your job, your career is not going to wake up and not love you one morning. You're, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like all these different things. A man will 1000% do it. I've done it. I was dating no. an MLB player at the time. He's not anymore. RIP. No, he's not dead, but. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the implication of that though. <laughs> but, but, and I had just, I had just gotten out of college. Yeah. RIP to his career. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what he's doing now, but. Uh, <laughs> listening to this somewhere crying. Anyways, go ahead. But anyways. I just got out of school and I was kind of waiting to get a job. I should have tried to start making my own money sooner because he decided to dip out. We got a dog together. Oh, fuck. Worst idea ever. Worst. She has seizures now. It's literally just, I learned so much like in such a hard way. Anyways, I had zero money and I should have tried to start figuring out what I was going to do to set up my job and my career sooner. And so that screwed me. Whatever. So I learned the hard way. Mm -hmm. And now. What you learn? I will never, I don't, I would never, yeah, I make. But that's the thing, though. You but, know what I'm saying? Like, but, like, if, if like, let's say. So just because I went on a TV show doesn't mean I didn't marry a millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that also just. Be the millionaire. I always say, I'm going to girl power. Um, I met a guy when I was 21 years old. And I always say this story because I think it reigns true what you're saying. When you were 21, how old are you now? 35. Damn. I know, right? You old bitch. Cassie right? just drooled. <laughs> Damn it. Cassie just, just drooled. Damn, Gatsby. Are you okay? Yeah, she called me old. Yeah. Whatever. I'm over here trying to. Every Dang. time I'm trying to relate that to what she's like. Me. She's like, dude, you're fucking <laughs> close to death. <laughs> All right, P to you for real. Um, I'm just kidding. Okay, okay. So when you were okay. 21, you met a guy. Yeah, I was 21. You're 35 now. 35 oh, now. A really long time ago. Really long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think you were a baby, maybe. <laughs> Dude, she's good. Um, so basically, I was... I was me and Should him, I do stand up? Me and... Uh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would never... I could never try to do what uh, you do. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. not. No. So... And thank you. No, so maybe you could... You're welcome. Maybe you could. Who knows? Take a compliment. I said... <laughs> oh, my God. I said thank you. All right. As he goes, thank you. So, because I'm trying to bring some truth to what you said. So, I was hanging out with this guy when I was 21 years old. Well, get to old. it. You don't fucking let me go <laughs> to it, you fucking pageant winner. You, Sorry, I'm you, caught up on Gatsby you drooling. You PW. All right. So, basically, me and him were drinking, whatever. We were both trying to holler at the same girl. He was, like, in his 40s, kind of close to the age I am now. And uh, we both didn't get her. We kind of just, like, laughed about it, whatever. And, and then... He was leaving, and I just said, hey, before you leave, because he looked like a real successful dude, 
And I was just because I could see his Cartier watch. This is the 21 whatever. year old, right? I was 21 years old. He was in his 40s. Oh, oh. And I said, okay. give me advice. Yeah. As a man, like, yeah. give me advice as for a man that's young, that's going to be old. Yeah. And he just kind of stopped. And then he went from like being really happy to kind of being very serious. And he said, um, okay, no amount of success can compensate for failure in the home. And I go, all right. I didn't know what that meant. But then he was just like, do you think I make a lot of money? And I was like, well, yeah, you look. And he goes, I do make a lot of money. Actually, I make an Period. insane amount of money. It's almost sick how much money I do make. But he goes, Eric, what the fuck does it matter? I make all this money and my wife doesn't want to talk to me. What does it matter that I could buy anything I want, but my kids wouldn't receive a gift from me? And that's why I say no amount of success can compensate for failure in the home. It means shit if you can't wake up to being happy or go to sleep being happy. So, 100%. So that's that's why I think it hit me later on. That's why I, I left my job. I was in finance. Good. You know, went to school for history education. You know, like I... That helped me in a different way because I just, history. Mm -hmm, that's my shit. It's a little. It's, it's a little. You know. No, it's awesome. History is cool. It's better than math. I bet you're not good at math. <laughs> yeah, I can't add this shit up. I'm terrible, actually. I'm terrible. At math. I know. It looked like it. Whatever. But yeah. So you said, screw that. I'm gonna go do something I love. Who cares if I don't make a ton of money? And you know what? Yeah. You're happy. Here you're I am you're actually you. successful. You're doing yeah. it. You're doing the damn thing. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I got you on the pod. That was literally the whole reason why I started this podcast. I figured at one point you'll say yes, and then here you are. I don't know. I had to do a couple more episodes, and then finally get you on. But you're here. playing the long game. Playing the long game. How much time we're at? We're mm -hmm. over an hour. We're at an hour. Yeah. Awesome. Well. Let them know where they can follow you. Let them know where they can see you. Let them know where they can comment beautiful things about you and not negative. Thank you for that. Don't just be nice. Yeah, Cassidy Joe Jax um, <laughs> on TikTok and Instagram. C a s s i d y J o j c a s. She doesn't believe our fans can spell or sound out. No, there's some people spell but Cassidy with a K. Um, but yeah, know, Cassidy Joe Jax, I'll full be, name. We'll have clips of this. <laughs> you uh, literally didn't even let me finish. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Come, No, no the, don't follow me. Spelling bee. <laughs> Please follow her. We'll have. We're only here her, for Eric. We'll have all her information up, and uh, if you, we will be singing. Um, Jesus Christ! There's my. Cause photo tonight will was, be the night. When I was thinner, <laughs> um, it was three years ago. It's a cartoon. I know. I know. No, I'm, dude, I was so hot at one point. <laughs> Um, no, like fucking for real. Um, Let no, when <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Eric Bernal show. Thank you guys so much. And why the AZ is SVO jokes aside, the realest when you hear it coming from the Eric Bernal show is Scottsdale. Very young, get your phone in here. Recall, we going up now. Let them know SVO, Sleepy Hollows. Very young, only the kings now. Watch the throne up in the come up and set the stone. Say that she loves you.